UFC 300, to be the man, you got to beat the man. To be the best, you got to beat the best, and the best is blessed. Oh, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Yeah, bro, I mean, it takes two, man. And Justin, I like Gaethje, brother. He's a legend, bro. He had everything to lose given this fight. He gave this fight on the biggest card of the year, the biggest card of the for, for centuries to come, probably, you know, for the next 10 years or five years at least. So, I mean, it was just amazing, you know. I, I, I was blessed enough to land my shots first, you know, when we did, when we was doing the, bro, I heard Justin a bunch and he had the craziest look in his eyes, bro. A hurt, a hurt line is the most dangerous line. And, uh, you know, we had that 10 seconds. Like I said, I'm just blessed enough to land my first because he was missing some. The wind on those motherfuckers hurt, you know? So I, that guy punched hard. It was, it was a reminder of uh, Holloway and Lamas. Oh, you know yes, what I mean? Yes, when you sir. point down, yes, it, was, it was 2.0 this time. Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is for the BMF. That's a BMF moment. And, you know, I was happy that I, I got to share the octagon with the great Justin Gaethje. Bro, and hats off to him because anybody, anybody else could have just, you know, taken their licks and gone off in the final 10 seconds. That man went out on, uh, on his shield. That's why you're BMF, brother. That's why, that's why the BMF title was in the right, proper hands, man. So, you know, I was blessed with, with sharing the octagon with him. Like I said, future Hall of Famer and just amazing dude. What did you think about his comments uh, at media day when he was kind of like, you know what, I, I, I don't know if I might... You know, I plan to, to fight, and I don't know if I'm going to, you know, wake up the next day. Brother, he's crazy, brother. But he did say one thing, that he's going to drop my ass, and he did. Damn. So I guess I don't, I'm not the longest reigning whatever, because he put, he put me on my butt. I was like, God. When I, got, when I hit, the, hit the ground, I was like, man, this guy did it. He said it, and he did it. God, gosh damn it. Did you know his nose was broken at the end of that first round? I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I could hear his corners when we was in there. Don't blow it, Justin. I could hear Trevor. Don't blow it, Dustin. I was like... <coughs> Thankfully, I, I landed that kick at the end of the first round, bro. I think so. It changed a lot. I think so. It changed the fight in a whole lot. Not being able to breach your nose is, uh, is a tough one for, for, for 20 more minutes, you know. So I was blessed enough to land that shot, and um, we got here. I'm going to ask you about Ilya in a minute, but um, not Max the fighter. I asked this to a lot of fighters. Not Max the fighter, but how's, the, how's Max the man doing right now, bro? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good, man. I got, I got the best woman in the world. I left all the way over there. She looking like John Wick with the John Wick vibes. She came in killing, but uh, you know I, I, I'm good, man. I'm good. I got a I got a great, great wife. She knocks me down to earth when I need it. I got a I got a little boy that's about to be seventh grade that I need to enjoy time with. I'm just blessed, man. I'm blessed. I got no excuses, like you said. Thanks for asking that, cause a lot of guys, a lot of fighters, brother, don't be scared to come on and talk about your pain, talk how you feel. I know we look like superheroes to certain people, but we, we're not, guys. We need help. Ask for help if you guys got some mental stuff going on. And, uh, you know, thank you for the question. And save your chickens, right? Yes, uh, save your chickens. This guy's been watching interviews. <laughs> Uh, the altercation at the end, I think I saw them close the cage. Like, do you want to just explain it briefly? Uh, I was going to, they thought I was going to go run after Ilya, but I was going to go, see, my wife is sitting right there. I wanted to see my wife. I don't give a shit about no fight, promoting no fight or nothing. I just wanted to see my beautiful lady, brother. She got to put up with me for 12, 10 to 12 weeks. You know how hard it is to put up with a fighter? Try and live with a fighter to a camp. Try and live to a fighter getting ready for Justin Gaethje. It's, it's an intense fight camp, brother. It's crazy, so. You know, she's the real MVP, bro. That's why I love her. I was trying to run to her. I wasn't trying to run to nobody to promote no nothing, you know. I, I, I get put on a mic after, you know, that's when I can start selling points. And now there's got to be a contract signing, right? Somebody's got to get a contract in front of him and he's got to sign it now. Yeah, right? we see what happens. We see what happens. Like I said, the El Melador, he's, uh, he's, 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 he's uh, trying, to, trying to run away from a boo in the pen, you know. I'm here, like I said, I talked to a lot of media. They asked me what I'm going to do, stay at 55, go back down. I told, ask me after the fight, because Justin was a handful. Uh, you know, I, I didn't want to become a highlight. I wanted to make a blessed highlight. I think we did that. And now we sit back, we wait, you know, in this game, especially with you knowing at anything, in any game, when you got options, life's good. Mad respect, brother. Go enjoy your victory. Thank you, brother.